Hello, good morning. This is Janice again from Measuring to Fit. I help people get started on sewing, sewing with the sewing machine, yes. And also, this is a manual sewing machine which belongs to my mother. I thought today I would just want to show you. Uh, this is uh, this is the machine that actually got me all started on uh, sewing, yeah, just a number of years ago. Uh, yeah got me started that's my mom's machine but now i uh, help people uh, sew with the electronic uh, mechanical sewing machine right so there are many more features on the sewing machine and i help you get started and help help uh, help take away all the puzzles that comes with all the many many features on the sewing machine so today uh, i'm going to actually show you um, how to make this fabric, this panel of fabric, that you can make it long like this, or you can make it uh, bigger and broader like this, which can be a panel to make a pouch. For example, you want to make a zipper pouch like this, you need just a, a, a small piece of fabric. You can do this, uh, do this, and uh, make this and then your pouch will look very unique because it is a fabric you made yourself right so i just wanted to you just in case you are you are seeing me for the first time you wouldn't know that i have actually shown in an earlier video how to make this jumble tumble fabric uh, the name is given by myself right i call it jumble tumble because it is made out of scraps and they are very very colorful okay it, uh, one big piece can look like this right and then yes right so one big piece can look like this and then uh, we cut it up and today i'm going to show you how to combine a uh, jumble tumble fabric like this right combine it together with uh, a plain fabric plain fabric right it doesn't have to be white. In this case, I use white. You can use any color that you think is, uh, is uh, what you have or what you want to use, right? And then make this fabric. What I did is combine the busyness and all the colors, right, with a plane so that it doesn't look so busy. Like this one, it looks very busy because it has so many fabric on it and different colors yeah so it looks busy if you don't like the busy look and you want a more mod moderate you no know, combined look so this is what i am uh, showing you how to make today there is a technique and the technique is very easy now talking about techniques what kind of skill level do you need to be able to make this or even to make this to make this jumble tumble fabric out of scraps right what skill level do you need to be able to make this and then eventually to make this if you wish to right you just need to be able to do the first part of my beginner sewing course i focus only on helping beginners people who does not have any uh any inclination about sewing i want to help you because uh I think there are many things for you to consider and it may be confusing, right? So that's why I came up with this course, which is specially for beginners. And uh, you can do any, however number of parts that you like to do, right? So people ask me, why do I want to take up your course when there are so many, uh, uh, you know, videos out there on YouTube that we can possibly watch and learn, learn how to sew. Okay, so, well, I, I, I put to you, would you like to consider mine would be a thought up system, a step by step thought up system where I design the whole syllabus myself, where I think that these are the essential techniques that you need to acquire to start off sewing, right? And I show you these techniques step by step right and so it is with system involved and uh, as in i have a system that i show you how to uh, how to learn step by step right and it is all foundational techniques i feel that you need to uh, start off with foundational techniques right so it's entirely up to you do you have to do my course uh, in order to sew you can be a self-taught sewer 
as in you can learn all by yourself just by watching different different videos right so mine will be a step-by-step -step guided uh, system that helps you start off right once you get all your foundational techniques in place you can apply it to make whatever you think you want to make right from it right with all this so i believe in your creativity so i don't restrict you with the projects that i only designs right so i believe you can and so with all this technique you make we want to use this particular technique to make this and do this and do different different things right so that is what i i i like to uh, help people with especially for beginners and people who don't know anything about sewing right so now i just want to mention to you that if you take up my uh, beginners course i have a very special offer at the moment right i have six parts to my course you do not have to take all the six parts if you think you don't need it right so maybe for me i would really recommend the first three parts so if you sign up for two parts i will give you one part free right so every part of my course is 150 ringgit inclusive of the exercise material and if, if you are in malaysia uh, malaysia will send it to you uh, shipping included right in the 150 ringgit so if you sign up to okay two parts of the course the third part i will uh give it to you for free it is in video format and also uh, yeah i will send you the tutorial video and also i will have um what i call facebook room sessions where we can have live to uh live session to discuss with you what are the uh, what are the issues that you encounter right so this is what i will offer now at the moment yeah so two parts free one part right so i hope uh that is helpful uh, for you to get started at least because we even with only doing the first part you already can do what we do today in this right this this material and also this fabric you can already use use up your scraps right or cut up your old clothes to make this right and then you if you want a combination fabric you can do this right so just let me start sharing screen with you combination um right i just want to uh, uh share with you the concept i have in mind this is uh, because it's jumble tumble right so it's not really very uh, straight so when i join my intention i intentionally made the lines not straight this is straight right so here this is not straight this is not straight here is also not straight so intent this is intentional so we're going to make it this way so to start off we will need right uh, this is our jumble tumble fabric which we have already made and remember we have the facing uh, the interfacing at the back so the same with this fabric right uh, this white fabric we also need to treat it with interfacing this first piece that i made actually i did not treat i and so that means the um the jumble tumble fabric part has the interfacing and then the white fabric doesn't have i noticed that because then one is a heavier fabric one is a lighter fabric the behavior is it, it is not so sturdy it doesn't uh stay so well so what i so we learn uh, i have learned uh from from making the first one so now we will treat the the fabric with interfacing also so i've applied the interfacing at the back so this is with interfacing this is also with interfacing so what we need to do is this is the right side up this is the wrong side right so we're going to put the right side right side right this is the part where there is interfacing the camera may not be able to show it very well but what we want is right side to right side place them together so both pieces preferably i cut them to the same size right so i cut this out first then i cut out my white fabric and the interfacing same same size so i'm going to put it this way and i'm going to show you a system of sewing 
to when I draw the line when it is a unbroken line a straight line across it will be a cutting line and when I draw it broken line like this means it is a sewing line right so first line will be a sewing line here we will sew here I'm drawing the broken line right so after this I go a little bit ahead here here and I will draw uh, maybe here yes and I will draw this will be a cutting line a straight line across that means I'm going to cut here uh, after this right I am going to hmm let's make this slanted a bit now nah? slanted we slant it we're going to cut it slanting so I'm going to slant it this way slant so I'm not going to use this line right so I'm going to cut slanted this way then I'm going to do a sewing line here about a quarter inch sewing line this is a broken line means I'm going to sew here right so after I sew I will leave a certain um certain space and then i'm going to draw a cutting line here i'm going to let it be not straight but slanted line again so this is my cutting line again here there will be a quarter inch sewing line right after this sewing line i will leave a bigger space and see whether because i'm at the end already so i'll go for a straight line here straight line straight line right and another sewing line that means here i'm going to cut and here another sewing line right so this is what I have here. The first one, this is the sewing line. I'm going to sew here. I'm going to bring it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew here. I'm going to lock. I'm going to lock, sew down, lock. And then still at the sewing machine, I'm going to lift up my presser foot, move my whole piece over because my needle will be here. I move it here. I'm going to here lock, sew on this sewing line. This broken line is the sewing line. So I'm going to sew here. Then now my needle is at this part, lift my presser foot, needle move the whole piece over to here and I'm going to lock and sew down all the way and lock. And then again, I'm going to lift up my presser foot and move my whole piece over to here, lock, sew here. And this is the whole piece. Right? So I'm, I'm, I will be uh, moving the, 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 the sewing machine over and show you how i sew at the sewing machine now so i am sewing the first line which is the blue green line here i'm going to lock sew down and lock right in fact i don't have to follow my drawing line eh? i just follow my presser foot i know i'm going to sew the first line here Now, I lift up my needle, lift up my presser foot, pull, right, and go over to this side. I don't need to even cut off my thread. This is the next sewing line. The broken line is the sewing line. I'm going to sew my line according to the broken line. I'm going to lock again. Oh dear, my thread came out. So let me settle the thread and I'll be back. back. I've settled my thread and I'm back here. I will lock. Right? 
So now I'm moving over to this side. You can pull out. If, yeah. Why is because my I have double trade below already, so I need to pull it out, and otherwise it will jam again. Yeah. So there are more trade coming up from below. I need to remove them. So take it out, and I'm going to sew the next line. See this part? So I make sure that this is uh, in alignment, right? Then only I will sew. Right? So now I finish sewing. Let's see what we get. We're going to cut according to the unbroken line is our cutting line, right? So we're going to cut all those parts. And let's open up and see. So we have sets of the jumble tumble fabric together with the white like this. Remove all these traits that I have. I have one set here, one set here, one set here, and another set. Right? So now, this is narrow, this is broad. So we go for the, the narrow part joined to the broad part. So join this to this. Right? This is, this is narrow, this is broad. Well, this one, this is broad, this is narrow. So I join this to this. And join here to here. Right? And I will get this kind of thing, right? So now, remember, it is right side together here, this way, place them, and join them together. So, I will bring the machine forward and join. Again, I will lock at the beginning and the end using one presser foot distance. I'm just checking that my hand is not blocking the camera and you can see what I'm doing. So this piece, I have this part. Next, I will join this part to this. This narrow, this is broad. This is broad, this is narrow. So I will join this. I find using this method of uh, ending, I don't waste so much thread, right? And I don't have so much tail to take care of, or so much tail, just thread that I have to manage. So that's why this is a method I, I've seen people doing and uh, I am learning to also acquire this habit, right? So, hey, that was, uh, that's what, that was uh, our video tutorial today. I think uh, it is quite clear um, what uh, you, how you can, how you can also make what I did, right? You do not have to use jumble tumble fabric 
It's just that because we, we made this jumble tumble fabric the other day, and in case you haven't seen my video, you can actually, uh, uh, I have put the link in, in my uh, Facebook um, uh, post. So you can actually click on it and see how I, um, in an earlier tutorial, I actually showed how to make this jumble tumble fabric if you want to see, right? Now, in case you did not, um, in case you did not, uh, 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 okay, see, so you can go for that, right? So this is what we did today. I hope you like it's something that you can do also. You do not have to use a uh, jumble tumble fabric. You can use one color fabric and another, another floral fabric, right? But it's just that because this series is on scraps. So that's why I uh, encourage people to use up their scraps, right? And these are the things that we can do. So what are we going to do next week, right? Next week, I'm still on scraps and making your fabric with scraps. No, uh, making your fabrics with scraps or remnants, right? Sometimes we have bigger remnants from uh, our projects, right? And you, you can make a fabric like this. Okay, I just needed four pieces here. I just needed four pieces of square fabric. Instead of joining four plain fabric, I have uh, come up with this method. Not say I come up, right? Is uh, actually I saw someone else uh, doing. I modif modify it uh, slightly, and uh, and and I I did this, and I will show you how I make this fabric. So it is a panel of fabric, uh, consisting of four pieces of four squares fabric. So here there's also four panels, but instead of four plain uh, squares, I combine it to make this. Uh, giving it some interest, right, to four planes fabric. So this will be next week uh, tutorial. And after that, coming up, I'm also going to show you how I make this, this fabric. These are all with remnants fabric. They are bigger, big, perhaps we don't call them uh, scraps, but remnants fabric, right? So I am going to show you also how I make this fabric in uh another uh, the following week okay next week i will show you this first and then followed by the other one right so i hope uh these are interesting to you do a uh, comment on the facebook to let me know um uh, that uh, this is helpful and something that you like okay so i'll see you again wishing you a very good day ahead of you a day full of sunshine enjoy and creativity right so i see you again next week